I'm Richard Freeman, Zoological Director of the Centre for Fortean Zoology. On the 9th of September, seven members of the Centre for Fortean Zoology from England and two members of the Centre for Fortean Zoology from Australia are off to Sumatra to hunt for the Orang Pendek. All the known grey tapes use tools. We're very familiar with seeing chimpanzees fishing for termites with twigs. They'll use spears to kill bush babies, clubs against leopards. Gorillas will rip off branches and throw them, or use branches to test the depth of water. Orangutans, too, uh, use quite a few tools. They will rip off branches and throw them down from the treetops at aggressors. And more recently, it's been shown that Orangutans actually make spears and use them for fishing, which sounds quite incredible. But they'll rip off branches, sharpen them in their mouths and use them to spear fishes. And we often think of the orangutan as being purely herbivorous, but it's not. It's a wonderful and fascinating discovery. And it begs the question, does orang pendek use tools? The answer is almost certainly yes, but we don't know exactly what or what for. There are accounts of them using sticks and stones of, as weapons, hurling them at people. And when the Trans-Sumatran Highway was being built, there were stories of Orang Pendex coming out and attacking the machinery with sticks. So it's liable that the Orang Pendex does use tools. And if, when it is proven to exist, we can study it further, we'll find out just what it uses and what for. But it's going to be a fascinating process, and I hope fingers crossed we can go some way to proving its existence.